this, which is that I just started trying out Keen just a bit, and I'm afraid I got a little addicted. Um, so what I did is I loaded 700,000 images to acquired by the Mars rover Spirit and Opportunity, all of them, in fact, I loaded all of the records of those into Keen, um, and then started discovering, started exploring. And I found so many things. I just want to share a couple of with them with you right now. So, for instance, things like this. Um, so how often were the different cameras on the rover used? There are a bunch of different cameras. You see them listed there. Um, however, we really have overwhelmingly favored the pan cam instrument, the left and right image uh, pair of that instrument. That's way more than half of the pictures we've taken. Um, dwarfs the rest of them beyond it. Didn't expect that extreme. Um, and within the pan cam, it has lots of different filter wheels. It can see many different wavelengths of light. So we have 12 different filter wheels that we can look through from ultraviolet to infrared. And somehow we have still favored red, green, and blue. I know they're not that color, but those are the three filter wheels, uh, red, green, and blue there. Let's go a little deeper, though. This top graph is how many pictures per week each of the rovers took over the lifetime of the mission. And you can see some things like the red graph is spirit, the blue graph is opportunity. You can see spirit meeting its, its ultimate end there. Um, but some other interesting things jumped out at me. First, that dip there in opportunity. And then I looked back and I found another one of them um, just about two years before then. And I thought, that's interesting. Why did the robot stop taking pictures right around then? Well, it's because the sun was in the way. Um, went back and checked the mission calendar. Earth, moon, sorry, Earth, Mars, sun. Sometimes the sun ends up in the, in the middle of them. We can't talk to the rover. It's called conjunction. So that was interesting. I saw that. But then some of them didn't line up quite right. So I noticed a couple of those were conjunctions. But this one right here, that didn't line up with a conjunction. That's strange. What would, I'm sorry, not that one. This one. Um, that didn't line up with a conjunction. It did line up, however, with the worst dust storm that we've ever seen on Mars. Um, it choked out 98% of the sun reaching the rovers. The top picture is what Mars normally looks like. The bottom picture is what it looked like in January, I'm sorry, July of 2007. That's why the rovers were doing nothing, because they were fighting to stay alive and barely did. But I want to draw your attention to one more very interesting thing. That. I first thought it was a conjunction. It's not. I stared at it longer, and I said, you know what? It's too long to be a conjunction. It's also too perfect looking. See, the red graph is spirit. The blue graph is opportunity. They are offset, those dips there, by exactly the same number of days between their landing dates. I thought I had a bug. I went and looked at my code. Um, everything that had loaded this off, uh, the data in, all the data sources, it was there in all of them. So I contacted the people on the mission uh, who are responsible for the official data archive of the mission. This is taken directly from the data files that we have placed into NASA's archive for posterity. It is the exact gold standard that is available to scientists forever. There was a huge error in the data, and I believe I'm the first person to ever look at the data this way because you guys made it so damn easy for me. I mean, it literally took me like an hour to put all that data into your system. They are now working to fix this problem. And so I want to say thank you on behalf of the agency I work for to all the people who helped build this product because you have corrected not a small mistake but a big issue in something that is part of the legacy of this mission. So somebody up here mentioned earlier that you hoped people would try to build things that surprised you. Um, I hope this is a surprise. It was a surprise to me. Um, I'm really grateful for it. And I have just one last thing to mention, which is that I wanted you guys to be able to also ex experience how much fun I've had with diving into this data. So I created another page here. And I'll put the URL for this whole thing. It's all up online. You guys can all play with it. Um, and it's called the page I'm clicking.